photography. It's not an activity or merely a profession and definitely not just a hobby. For some, it's passion and obsession. And we have brought 10 such passionate photographers from all over India to this magical place, Munar. In the dictionary, T comes after photography. But over here, T comes first. This T will lead our photographers to the length and breadth of Munar to showcase one of the most creative and expressive forms of art. All to discover what goes into making the most refreshing cup of tea. Welcome to Karan Devan Photography Escapade 3. The Photography Escapade was born to share the compelling story of the origins and the creations of Tata T. Kannandevan. The Photography Escapade 1 and 2 were a huge success and now it is time for Season 3. The journey for Season 3 begins at Kochi Airport where all our contestants have arrived. It was a bit difficult for me to shift from engineering to photography uh, to convince my parents. They worked in uh, government sector jobs. So they also expect me to have a secure job where you get a pension and all those things. But now they are getting more uh, accustomed with that. I do sketching and I love doing portraits. So I do it from pictures. Then I thought why not to sh shoot one and then do it. And I got addicted to photography more. I'm a food photographer. Um, so I try to explore a lot of food in different places and uh, bring their unique styles and textures and everything into my own kind of photography and trying to get a, a set of photos that is my identity. I've started photography for four years and it was like last year when I watched a tutorial from a great photographer like Elia Locardi. So I am more concentrated on his method of like blending different moments of time. I love uh, symmetrical uh, elements in the frame basically. So when I started clicking with my smartphone, I used to explore a lot of architecture in the city and I developed a natural sense of composition for, for the architecture. From here, they continue their onward journey to Munar. But there is a place in Munar that they are going to explore. And to discover what that is, they have been given their first clue. Now they must all work together to solve this puzzle. This clue is an alphabet puzzle. Each number corresponds to an English alphabet. After some heavy brainstorming and scribbling, they are finally seen to have solved it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we got it. Welcome to Kannan Devan Hills. <laughs> Kannan Devan Hills. Let's quickly jump into its history. In 1790, Colonel Arthur's plan to annihilate Tipu Sultan failed and thus he had to trek to a terrain which was known as the High Ranges. Due to its perfect climatic condition to grow tea, a joint company was formed known as Kannan Devan Hills Produce Company Limited. In 1962, Tata entered into a joint venture with Finlay and after a decade took full control as Tata Tea Limited. It was the turning point for the company when in 1986, Tata finally set up the Palivasal Packaging Factory. This ensured that the tea was sold directly to the consumers. When the district of Kannan Devan opened up, Munar opened up for planting, we had uh, two Mudwans. Those are the early tribesmen who were inhabitants of this place, who were the people who guided the British pioneer planters who came in to the various spots 
in Munar, took them around the district and you know, normally they used to go through the elephant paths which are the you know the strongest roads to travel by. So they were the ones who opened up the you know took the British planters around and showed them the district and uh, they were two tribesmen named as Kanan and the second one was named as Tevin. So that's how the British named the district in honor of them as Kanan Devan. So that's how the name comes. To this day, Kanan Devan remains one of Tata's oldest trademarks and continues to savor taste buds across the region. So it is these Kanan Devan hills with such a glorious past that our contestants will be traversing through. The main uh, focus of coming to this competition was to meet new people and you know I haven't been to Munnar and now I am seeing it with my own eyes so I am just thrilled. Their base for the next few days is the High Range Club, a heritage club founded in the year 1905 exclusively for the plantation owners. I am an artist by nature, like uh, I draw pictures, paint it. For me to draw a picture takes a lot, lot of time. Then I realize, you know, photography just need a click to see the result. So basically I am lazy, that's why <laughs> I'm in photography. After coming here, I got to know um, where I'm lacking and what I need to carry and I hope I'll get more experience here. My first memory with photography is my dad has been into traveling a lot. So that time he used to use transparency slides and we often used to see those slides in the projector and seeing those images on wall definitely had an impact on my life. I do like, like nature's and macro photography. Macro is something like I go for an architecture shoot for a location by end up uh, shooting something macro. It's just that the smaller and the finer things attracts me. It is time to meet their mentors, Aditya and Ashish, two of the most talented photographers in the country. Their forte is capturing nature at its finest, and that is certainly going to help our contestants in the coming days. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to Munar. Thank, Thank you. My name is Aditya. I am Ashish. And together we are mentors over the next three days as we travel the length and breadth of Munar. And we will try to explore and learn and in the process try to create some compelling imagery. Quick question, did any of you shoot anything today? Yes. 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 Your journey. The weather has not been an issue for you guys so far. We are in the bus. From the bus? From the bus. From the bus. Yeah. bus. Yeah. Well, I don't think you've experienced a percent of Munar because over the next few days, you're going to see Munar in a way you've never seen it before. And don't worry about the bad weather. I don't know if you if you know about the saying. Uh, what is that saying? Ah, ka mausam aur Mumbai ka fashion jaldi jaldi badalta rehta hai. So hopefully we'll have some glimmer of hope of sunlight sometime. The journey to get here has been quite long. Not taking into account the day, the travel, but the last few months we have filtered through hundreds of images, and your images have made it to the cut. For that, you deserve a round of applause. And the challenge has just started. The mentors briefed the contestants about the next activity, a photography-based workshop followed by a unique indoor photography exercise. The exercise is simple. Each contestant has been sent into this confined room without any further knowledge about their task. They all must pick only one lens of their choice before entering. The rules are simple. Everything above their shoulder is their canvas. And with no props, no selfies, all they have are two lights and their own individual creativity. Creativity has no limits. 
The exercise proves that everyone has a different perspective. The objective of this exercise was to motivate the contestants for the coming days, where their canvas will not be limited to a confined space. And there they all need to shoot differently, looking beyond the obvious. This is just the beginning. Catch episode 2 of the Kannan Devan Photography Escapade 3 to know which team is in the lead and the trials they face in the vast wilderness of the Kannan Devan Hills.